What's up YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys 5 Sombra tips and tricks that you probably didn't know about and probably should, especially if you'd like to play Sombra. So let's get started. Tip number 1. Translocator and Vulnerability. This is a tricky tip to pull off but can save you in a lot of situations after a little bit of practice. Basically, you're able to become invulnerable to damage while in transition from being teleported from one place to the other. Let me demonstrate this. Here you can clearly see that Tracer is sticking me with her pulse bomb. I wait until right before the pulse bomb goes off to hit the E and avoid the explosion. You can do the same thing against D.Va's ultimate. And here I show you guys that I'm able to avoid the damage from the explosion by using her translocator at the right moment. Tip number 2. Ultimate positioning. On some maps such as Hanamura, there are some spots that you can position yourself in to get off the perfect EMP. Just like the one I'm about to show you. You can go in stealth, use your translocator to get up here, and just wait until your team is ready to move in and then pop your ultimate at the right time to hit everyone who's defending the second point. It's extremely hard to defend against since it's unexpected. Tip number 3. Running back. Sombra is actually on par with D.Va and Tracer in terms of getting back to the fight the fastest. It takes Sombra 15 seconds to get from point B to point A, takes Tracer 14 seconds, and D.Va 18 seconds. It's more favorable to pick Sombra over D.Va for longer distances. Sombra is able to do this because her invis gives her bonus movement speed and you can use your translocator to get down distances. The combination you want to use to get back the fastest is by using your translocator first and then following up with your invis and then by the time your invis is complete, you should have your translocator back up. Tip number 4. Stalling. You can stall with Sombra quite effectively. The enemy team won't notice it right away and won't be able to do much about it. You can do this by stealthing onto the point and staying in a relatively safe spot right until your stealth runs out. Once it does run out, throw your translocator up in the air and it should buy you a couple of extra seconds until your teammates can come back and save you. And finally, tip number 5. You can use your translocator to escape and avoid some situations. You can use it to get out of gravitons. You can also use it to dodge roadhog hooks by throwing it towards them in case you don't have time to look away. And you can also use it to dodge Reinhardt charges by throwing it right above them for the same reason in case you don't have time to look away. Well that's it for this video guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and hit that sub button for more content like this, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.